Yo, yo, yo. What's up? What's up? Big fish, little fish. Here live. About to do a little unboxing. Waiting for some people to get on here. What's up, bro? Hey, did y'all catch anything this morning? I heard you took the boat out. Jay, did y'all catch anything this morning? Can you hear me? Testing, testing. Audio, audio, audio. <laughs> Just waiting for a couple more people to jump on here before I do this unboxing. I um been trading some baits, some of the baits that just sit around and don't get much actual use. Uh, Jay, can you hear me? Can can you hear me good? Is it low? Is it high? This is a a, a new setup that I have here. So I'm just testing out, uh, testing it out to see how it sounds, how it looks. Two bass and one bluegill. I caught one. That's good. What lake did you guys go to? guys catch what did you guys catch on but um so yeah uh, for those of you just just joining I'm gonna be doing an, an unboxing here in a minute I uh, got a swim bait in the mail today so I'm gonna crack it open for you guys get a first look at it I caught everyone on that rig we made the the tandem the the two hook so um you guys know I like throwing the big baits and uh, I fish them I fish all my baits and uh, if I don't and they just sit for a while then I'll try to trade so um, I've actually got a couple that I'm going to trade now, up for trade now that I'll show you guys. I've got this S waiver and light trout. Um, pretty mint condition. It's got one little, couple little scratches on there. But Jay, this would actually be a good, a good bait for you. I don't, I don't know if you remember when I first started. I had one of these. And we lost it. It's kind of similar to that to that one that you lost. Um, I've got this that I'm gonna try to trade, and then I've also got a uh, this ninja. Dual hardcore ninja. I'm gonna try to like pair them up, see what I can get. So if anybody's got anything for trade, let me know. But um, so yeah, just uh, got got some some new equipment that I'm wanting to try out to see the audio and how it looks and everything. It doesn't look doesn't look too bad for for the setup. Um, got a new a new partnership with a subscription box company, subscription bait box monthly subscription or if you don't want to do a subscription you can just do a one-time purchase gift uh, whatever but uh, it's a box of baits that is specifically tailored to where when and how you fish so the company is called the bass finder 
and they are a new company uh, that just launched about a month ago. Um, and they reached out to me and, and said if I wanted to work with them, so I took the opportunity. Uh, no, it's not a GoPro, Jay. It's actually just like, I don't know how to explain it. Uh, got it for a Christmas gift, actually, and I'm just now breaking it out to use it. It's like this wire stand. But um, a little bit about the Bass Finder. Um, the Bass Finder is the name of the company. And um, basically the way it works is if you go to Walmart or Academy or Bass Pro or wherever you shop to buy baits, um, you know, you it, it, it adds up quickly. You know, you buy two baits, two, three baits, and you're in over $20. Um, the way the subscription box works is you take a quiz and they ask you specific questions about what you're fishing um, the, the time of the year uh, right now summertime so there's specific baits uh, for specific times of the year and then once you take the quiz they will send you uh, a box of baits depending on the amount uh, of, of the purchase right now they're having a 20% uh, back to school sale you can get a $30 box of baits for $19.99 um, so that's just a little something I'm throwing out there but um, I want to go ahead and do an unboxing from uh, from this newest swim bait that I just got in the mail I want to do it live for you guys so you guys can get in on the action see that's what I like about this thing is that it adjusts so that way you can feel like you're opening the box Okay, that's cool. At least it's uh, safe and secure here. Oh wow! Tell me if you would throw this, guys. W would you just tie this and throw it right now? And this, how it's set up. What's up, Drew Fishing? What is it? What is it? What is it? All right, all right. Let me fix the camera. You guys guess. Give me a couple guesses of what uh, what bait you think it is that I got here. I'll give you a hint. I'll show you the tail. What tail is that? And it's nice and bent. That's beautiful. That actually really sucks that it's bent like that, but wow. Horrible. Daniel, what's up, boy? What up, Daniel? So, that sucks that the tail's bent. I mean, uh, that's like the risk you take when you trade. Um, you know, or when you buy online, when when you get into this game, um, I want I've traded with this guy before, uh, so I've never had any issues. But I want to say maybe it's just the way it was in the box, but that kind of sucks. But we can fix this. I can even run it without the tail, and it'll still get bit, just because of what this bait is. Not this the napkin. No, just kidding. Put it on your chug dash and the heat will straighten it up. Throwback. What's going on? Throwback swim baits. So just to catch you guys up, uh, I've talked a little about a lot of different things, but um, I did. Been doing some trading for some baits. And uh, I just got this guy. Little Mega Bass Ice Slide. You see that. And look what happened. The tail is jacked. But I think uh, JG Man said put it on the dash and let the heat straighten it out. So I actually traded this. I, I traded this ice slide. I didn't know that this thing uh, had magnets. Check that out. It's got built in magnets. That's neat. 
I'm not. Uh, this is the first ice slide that I've ever actually uh, uh, held and owned. Um, I know it's an iconic bait, so I'm interested in throwing it and see what it does. But that's neat that it's got a magnet in there. But I actually traded this for um, the crawler. It was a, a Depths NZ crawler bait. It was a, it was a top water, and uh, I I threw it once. And never really picked it back up, so I decided to trade it. When you cast it, won't scratch up the slides. Yeah, uh, uh, what the magnet really was, what the purpose of the magnet is to kind of keep the hooks from fouling up, from getting caught on rock or grass or whatever. Whenever it's swimming along, if it hits something, it's gonna get caught up. Dang, those are sharp. But if the if the if it's uh, up on the magnet, then it has a lot uh, lesser of a chance of getting foul hooked and caught up on something, and then you'll have to go swimming for it. So yeah, cool cool little bait. I was uh, excited to get this ice slide. Like I said, it's a it's a real iconic swim bait, an OG uh, kind of swim bait, if you will. A little bummed about the tail, but I think I actually have replacement tails. I think I have replacement ice slide tails, so it's no, it's no big deal. But I've also uh, really started working on a YouTube channel, uh, trying to trying to get my YouTube up, trying to get different uh, different avenues here. Man, this this uh, this hook keeper's bent too, man. Man, I don't know about trading, stuff, doing all these trades now with all these people. I don't really think it affects anything, but I don't know if you can see this. This hook hanger right here is like bent, which it doesn't, that's not going to affect anything. But yeah, I mean, that should get bit. It's not really... It's not really kind of similar to this guy here. It's a little bigger, right? Uh, I think this S waiver is about six inches, so this is probably about a seven inch, seven inch glide. It's got kind of a trout, kind of a trout pattern on top there, a trout pattern there. Uh, but if you notice on this one, the uh, the trout pattern comes down and up, down and up, so that out also kind of resembles like a bluegill pattern so that's why this this particular one kind of get will get bit across the country because it looks it looks like a lot of different uh, baits this one got a little bit of that gold and red and still the trout pattern too this one's just shiny <laughs> So, I don't know. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to throw it. I might go. I've got a uh, another glide bait tied on right now. I've got a, um, what is it called? What's tied on there right now? An Arashi glide. A Storm Arashi glide that I have tied on that I actually caught an 8-pounder or a 9-pounder on uh, two, two years ago. One of my first uh, big bait big fish baits so I might take that Arashi glide off and throw this guy on there and just see just see what it does definitely gonna replace this tail though yeah, it just pops right out yeah well you're definitely right Jay with the with, with the heat in Florida you put this puppy on the dash and it'll straighten out a couple of hours but I've got I've also got some replacement tails so it's not a big deal But that's part of the game. So yeah, if anybody wants to trade, hit me up. I'm gonna be putting this up for trade and this up for trade. If you got anything you want to trade, let me know. Send me a message. Other than that, I appreciate you guys. Um, I started when I started my Instagram. Um, you know, I just wanted to post fish, uh, have a record of uh, fish that I've caught 
and uh, I actually had a had a Facebook, you know, when I was younger, and I had a lot of my fish uh, catches on Facebook, and uh, for for uh, private personal reasons, I deleted that Facebook page, and I kind of regret it now because I lost a lot of my pictures and videos and stuff. So I feel like with Instagram now, I'll have an electronic record. Uh, and at the same time share share those those fish with you guys so um, thank you to all my viewers out there uh, appreciate you guys if you're interested in uh, the Bass Finder uh, subscription box I've got a link in my bio um, it helps out the page it's gonna help out the channel whenever you guys uh, click on that link go check it out and uh, if, if you make a purchase it, it, it will help us grow so um, other than that, tight lines. Uh, appreciate you guys. See you later.